I haven't put a video up in a little while. It is not because I don't have any video footage. I do, and that's the problem. Hello, my friends of the World Wide Webs. It is Susan, AKA Kinda Quirky. Today, we are going to be talking about something that I am definitely guilty of, and that is the different types of procrastinators. So here's the deal. I was doing awesome, and then I recorded one video. And it's not that I don't want to edit and put it up. It's just that two and a half hours is a lot of footage. So today, we're gonna not only look at my type of procrastination, but we're gonna look at five, five. I know that's like two more than what I normally do. Different types of procrastination. So we may just start out with my own and that is the perfectionist. I don't consider myself a perfectionist, but there is something to be said here about the fact that this type of person looks around and says, holy that's a lot of stuff to do. Why do any of it at all? And it prevents them from starting. Actually, sometimes they will start and then it won't be going as well as the vision seemed and they'll stop. But really, this person could also just be called the overwhelmed individual because whenever they have a lot, they don't do anything at all. And that's me, right? So today, I'm going to clean out the fridge. That's my big goal. And I'm gonna do a really deep cleaning on it. So I gotta pull everything out and then organize it and put everything back in. Might want some Gladware to put it all in. And you know, you don't wanna put it in plastic because of toxins. So I better get the glass ones. Um, I can tell I'm not gonna be able to do this project today because it's gotta get done right. What's the point in doing it if I'm gonna have to go back and do it again? I better just wait until everything is in place and then go do it. Procrastination type number two. I like to call this person the overbooked and underpaid procrastinator. This person seriously just wants to do everything. Their anxiety is that there's so much to do out in this world and they don't wanna miss out on it. They make a list, they never get to the bottom of it. This is the longest list I've ever had. Right, I gotta take my car in, I've gotta take the dog to the vet. Um, also got to take the dog out for a walk. I've got a big project for work I need to start. Jamie has got a birthday. Lisa and I are gonna have a girls night. That hot band that I heard about is coming in for two nights for a concert. Wanted to go shopping for a new cowboy hat. Um, got bills that need to get paid. Deposit I need to make. Yeah, Christmas is like six or seven months away. Gonna need to do some gift shopping at some point. Right, honestly, I don't see how any one of these is more important than the other. I just need to do them all. Carpe diem, fit it all in. Even if that means taking some of this stuff and pushing it out a week. Procrastination personality type number three. This is the avoider or defier, but really this person is just looking to have fun. This is the classic procrastinator type. They have something better to do, but really it's just that they're running away from discomfort. And this personality can be closely related to the perfectionist. They would rather have people think that they lack effort and ability. This to-do list is an unfair and unnecessary use of my time. I'm gonna go play video games instead. Closely related to this is personality type number four. four. And this is the indecisive, the dreamer, the worry, the worrier, not warrior. I mean, they could be a warrior, I guess. There's no reason that a warrior couldn't be this type, but it is the worrier. Those words are too, too close. I might prefer to call this person the crab. They actually embody the sign of cancer, which are people typically born in July. And that is that they actually just can't make a decision on what to do first. They might have a long list of things to do, but they don't wanna move forward because they don't know where to allocate their time. And if they don't make a decision, then it really can't be their fault. Oh gosh, I've got three whole things on this list to do today and I, I really don't know which one to do first. I could do A, but that doesn't seem quite as important as C. Okay, I could do B. I could absolutely do B. I really don't want to do them in the wrong order. You know what, I'm just gonna wait until somebody lets me know which one is the highest priority. They're gonna call me next week anyway. And lastly, the fifth personality type, thrill seeker, crisis maker, or the cardiac kid. This is the kind of person that will leave everything for the last minute. They get a rush off of completing tasks last minute. Three months to complete that project. You know, I really do my best work in the last week. Yeah, that project that got assigned like three months ago. Yeah, we've got like a whole week before it needs to be turned in. Plenty of time. Right, that project that's due tomorrow. Um, I think it's probably time to start that. 
Um, yeah, I can finish it if I like pull an all nighter. Why? Why do I do this to myself? That's like every kid in grade school that didn't have their parents doing their homework for them ever. I would love to give you some tips on how to overcome procrastination, but being that I have two and a half hours worth of footage that I'm sitting on right, not like, not like literally sitting on, I'm not, it's not, un, it's not underneath me right now. It's, it's, it's not down here. What I, you know what I mean. Being that I have all of this footage that I'm sitting on that I haven't done anything with, I don't really feel that I have a place to tell anybody how to get over their procrastination. However, I can tell you that while I have been running from my discomfort of sitting down and editing that footage, if there is something that makes me uncomfortable, I'll get it done as long as I can find something else that makes me even more uncomfortable. I might have two and a half hours of film, but I have gotten really productive about other things. And sometimes we need that. Sometimes we need to run so hard from one thing that we accomplish all the rest. All right, my friends, thank you for watching this video. <laughs> like it up, subscribe. You may want to share this as a little subliminal message for, you know, like friend who's been putting something off. For you, my friends, have whatever kind of day you want to have or, or not. You know, you, you could do that tomorrow. That's my impression of every reality show ever.